Welcome to the first episode of Science Snippets with Dr. Fuller. Today, we're going to talk about viruses. Viruses are infectious pathogens. A pathogen is something that makes us sick. Viruses are acellular, which means they do not have any cells. Having cells is the number one rule for something to be considered a living thing. A lot of times we hear about viruses living on surfaces, but that is a little misleading because technically viruses are not alive. In order to survive and reproduce, viruses must infect a cellular host. Viruses contain DNA or RNA, which we call its genome, its genetic material. The genome of a virus enters a host cell and basically takes over the cell's machinery. Then the virus produces new viral components. These little baby viruses are called virions. The new virions transport the viral genome to another host cell to carry out another round of infection. Now a little bit about viral structure. Viruses are super small. Right now, we classify viruses two ways according to their general composition, as naked or enveloped. Naked viruses have a simple capsid covering. Enveloped viruses peel off a little bit of the cell membrane of the cells they infect and wrap themselves in it for protection. Here's a fun fact. Regular hand soap disintegrates the virus coating, preventing it from sticking to your hands. This is why it's so important to wash your hands, especially during the coronavirus pandemic. Lately, we hear a lot about virus names. What does this stuff mean? A virus's name can tell us a lot about the structure of a virus. For example, influenza viruses are usually identified by their H and N spikes. At the tips of these H spikes are structures that allow the virus to attach and enter a cell. At the tips of the N spikes are structures that allow the virus to detach from the cell surface during release of new virions. Virus common names are usually a mashup of the genus and species names. Hey parents, do you remember those italicized names for plants and animals from your freshman bio class? The flu that we know is influenza virus from genus influenza and species virus. The name coronavirus is derived from the Latin corona meaning crown or halo. Can you see the resemblance? That does it for today's science snippet. Now you take a turn. Use your imagination and draw your own virus. Do you have H and N spikes? Are you a corona shaped virus? Do you have a capsid? Are you naked? Or do you also have an envelope? Use your imagination and sketch out your imaginary virus. Tune in next time as we unlock nature's secrets using the Fibonacci sequence. Science tips are brought to you by Dr. Carla Fuller.